story to tell. The Saab 37 Viggen is a single-engine medium-range multi-role fighter built in Sweden between 1970 and 1990 to replace the Saab 32 Lansen. Saab 37 Viggen is considered a design that paved the way for super-maneuverable fighters. Saab 37 made its maiden flight on February 8, 1967, and entered service in 1971. A total of 329 aircraft were produced. The highlight of this fighter is the ability to take off from short runways, easy maintenance and repair, and super maneuverability thanks to the delta wing configuration and its canard design. The main wings are low-mounted, delta-shaped, extending from the body midsection to the exhaust. Small, clipped delta wings are forward of the main wings, and high-mounted on the body. The structure was built with aluminium with a honeycomb structure, with the rear being totally of aluminium, allowing the Vigan to withstand the stress of no-flare landings. It has a hump on the dorsal area to reduce drag. There is one turbofan engine in the body. There are semicircular air intakes just forward and below the secondary wings. Originally, the British Rolls-Royce Medway engine had been selected to power the Viggen, but eventually Saab chose to adopt a licensed production version of the American Pratt and Whitney JT-80 engine, the Volvo RM8B, instead. The RM8B was heavily redesigned, blasted out an incredible 125 kilonewtons of thrust in afterburner, and 72.1 kilonewtons of dry thrust. The aircraft can accommodate flight at Mach 2.1 maximum speed, operating range 2,000 km, service ceiling at 18,000 m, rate of climb 203 m per second. Earlier version of the Viggen did not have an internal cannon, as it was considered by the days, a close-range combat was not necessary, an approach that also affected other designs, such as the American Phantom F-4. The mistake of the basic version had now been remedied by building a 30mm Orlicon cannon in the fuselage. A weapons load of up to 7000 kg could be accommodated on 9 hardpoints. The avionics supported many different bombing modes for the general purpose bombs. Toss bombing, dive bombing, high and low drag methods all are programmed in, giving the pilot lots of flexibility when it came to bomb employment. On a typical attack run, the Viggen would move to its target fast and low. The powerful engine gave it the capability to go supersonic at low levels. At a low altitude, the AJ-37 Viggen was one of the fastest aircraft in the world. The Viggen was the most advanced fighter jet in Europe until the introduction of the Panavia Tornado into operational service in 1981. The basic platform was the AJ-37 Strike Fighter, to be followed by SF-37 aerial reconnaissance versions, and the all-weather fighter Interceptor J-37. In November 2005, the Viggen was retired from service by the Swedish Air Force, the only operator. <laughs>